viewers, praise the Lord, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And it is yet another wonderful day that you are joining us for these online intercessory prayers uh, on Thursdays that runs from 4 o'clock to 5 p.m. every Thursday. I uh, would want to encourage you wherever you are and thank you for joining us this evening and encourage you to press on the button for alert so that you can subscribe and get the uh, alerts. Wherever we come live online, you may be joining us every Thursday for intercessory prayers. As we begin uh, our intercessory prayers for this week, I am um, happy and glad that Christ Jesus has allowed us to be in his presence as we intercede for our church for ourselves, for our land and our nation, and for our neighbors and our friends, and even for the pains and needs of the world. Let, may, let me invite you to join me in prayers as we start our evening prayers today. We give you thanks and praise, O oh Heavenly Father, for by faith we have the privilege and the right to be called the children of God. We worship you, Lord, for from the fullness of your grace, we have all received one blessing after another. Lord Jesus, we worship you for your incomparable love and for revealing the Father's love to us. Thank you for, too, for teaching us to obey the will of God. Lord God, we come before you in prayer at this moment that you may reveal your plans for our lives as we pour out our hearts to you. Lord, as we pray to you this evening, may our hope be renewed and may our future remain secure in you. We are here to call on your name and to pray that you may listen to us. Cause us, O oh Lord, to seek you with all our heart that we may find you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, I would want us, wherever you are, if you have praises to the Most High, would want to sing a song as we enter into a session of praise to our God. And I would invite you to uh, join me in this song, Praises to the Most High, number 19. To God be the glory, great things he has done. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love he the world that he gave us his Son, who yielded his life an atonement for sin. And open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. Great things he has done. Oh, Father. Perfect redemption, the patches of blood to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus, our pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let 
the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, rather people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he has done. Great things he has taught us, great things he has done. And great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But pure and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father. Through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Oh, indeed, our wonderful Lord and Savior, great things we attribute to you. At this moment, may I invite you to join me in the prayers or praise to our God. We lift prayers or praise to you, Lord, as your word says in Psalm 92 and verse 1, that it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High. At this moment, may we remember the wonderful deeds of the Lord and his wonderful love for us, that as we raise prayers of praise to our God, we would want to pray for Lord because our Lord is worthy and he is good. We would want to pray that we may honor and praise our the holy name of our Lord in heaven. We also want to pray that we may recognize and exalt our living God for he is our everlasting God and we also want to pray that we honor and recognize the ways of our Lord that are perfect. We also want to pray that our oh Lord you holiness may dwell in us and we may remain holy because you are holy. We also want to praise our Lord because he is like no other God in our lives. We would like to praise our God because there is no God that is comparable to our God and that God is a Lord who is compassionate. We may honor him and praise him in, uh, with our innermost being and that we may recognize and honor the might of our living God and finally, we are going to praise you, Lord, because nothing is impossible by you. Let us pray as we remember these wonderful attributes of our God, who is from everlasting to everlasting. You, O oh God, are worthy of our praise, for you are good. We offer you a sacrifice of praise and confess that you are our God. Lord, may we always remember to honor you and to praise you and to lift your holy name on high. Lord, at this moment, we would want to honor you and praise your holy name for you are our unchanging God. 
Lord, you are the same yesterday, you are the same today, and you are the same forevermore. We honor you, we praise you. Our Savior Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. You are our solid rock, our fortress, and our rescuer, our shield, and our salvation. Lord, in moments that we have been through waters and troubles, and when we have fallen into uh, difficult moments, O oh Lord, you have been our strength. When we have fallen into desperation, O oh Lord, you are our safety and a place that we turn to. We honor you and we give you thanks at this moment. Lord, we also praise you for being the everlasting God, the creator of all ends of the earth. You do not grow tired or weary. Your understanding is unsearchable. As we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 28, your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. As we read, O oh Lord, in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 9, Lord, we praise you and we honor you for your ways are perfect. Your word proves true and you are a shield for all those who take refuge in you. Lord, there is not a word that has come out of your mouth that has never come to pass, that can never be fulfilled. Lord, your word is true and amen. Lord, your word is established and your power and authority is established on earth and in heaven, O oh Lord. We honor you and we praise you at this moment. We also praise you, God, for you are holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. As we read in Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 3, we praise you, Lord, O oh, your Lord, our God and our Redeemer. You are like no other God. You pardon iniquity and you pass, uh, passing over transgression, O oh Lord. Who can we turn to, O oh Lord, when we go astray, except for you that you may cleanse us and you may renew our life and our strength, O oh Lord. You will not harbor all always accuse, nor will you harbor your anger forever. The Lord, O oh Lord, you are Lord who delights in those who fear you, will put their hope in your unfailing love. Lord, we turn to you, O oh Lord, because of your unfailing love at this moment and in this season. Who is a God like you who pardons sin and forgives transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? Who can claim that they belong to you except as of who you have shown you a favor from time, from uh, the beginning of time, O oh Lord? You do not always stay angry forever, but you delight to show mercy. Lord, we come back and bow down before you as we honor you and as we praise your holy name. You will again have compassion on us. You will tread our sins underfoot and hurl all our iniquities into the depths of the sea. Lord, we thank you and we honor you. We praise you for you are a Lord who is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love and faithfulness maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. Yet you do not leave the guilty unpunished. Lord, you are a merciful God. We praise you, O Lord, God Almighty. Your might is like no other. Who is like you, Lord, God Almighty? You, you Lord, are mighty and your faithfulness surrounds righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you as we read in Psalm 89 and verse 14. We praise you, Lord, with, Lord, with you, because with you nothing is impossible. Our sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your great power and our straight arm. Nothing is too hard for you. We thank you and we bless you. O oh Lord, at this moment we would want to remember all your goodness and all your mercies and love to the only God invisible, the father of truth who sent us the savior and prince of immortality through whom also he revealed through whom also he revealed to us the truth and the heavenly light. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now at this moment I would want us to, uh, to do a prayer of cleansing 
And as be, uh, before we do that, I would want us to sing another hymn, and hymn number 30 from Praises to the Most High. May I invite you to join us in that Praises to the Most High. Song number 30, or hymn number 30, sorry. When I survey the wondrous cross, on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count at loss, and for contempt on all my pride, forbid it, Lord, that I should boast. Save in the death of Christ my God. All the things that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his heart, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did ever such love sorrow me, or thoughts compose so rich a wonderful sacrifice that you have given, you have done for our sake, O oh Lord. At this moment, I would invite you wherever you are to join me in a prayer of cleansing. That Lord, we pray that you may wash us from our iniquity and cleanse me, O oh Lord, from my sin. As the scripture says in Psalm 51 verse 2, that Lord, I am, we am full of sinful desires and habits, lies and lusts spill forth from my mouth and from my heart, O Lord, that you may cleanse me from these and make me worth on a, walk on a firm ground, O Lord. Lord, we honor you and we praise you at this moment as we come before you in our situation and in our status. Lord, may you cleanse us. May, we, may you remind us of the wonderful sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus at the cross of Calvary. That, Lord, we may fully and regularly confess our sins before you, O oh Lord. Lord, we, are, we love to or we like to hide and our sins and wicked ways uh, from one another, Lord. But, Lord, nothing is hidden from you. At this time, O oh Lord, we pray for your cleansing. We pray for your renewal, O oh Lord, that we, everything is before you and nothing is hidden from you. Lord, have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. As your word says in First John 1 and 9, that when we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Lord, help us to speak the truth before you and pour out our iniquities before you, that, Lord, you may you may show us mercy, O oh Lord, and lift us to a new and firm ground, O oh Lord. I will make you, O oh Lord, my hiding place, O oh Lord. May you renew me that I may walk in, in holiness, O oh Lord, and obedience to your ways, O oh Lord. That I may not stray and walk in the path of the mockers, O oh Lord, or be in the counsel of the wicked, O oh Lord. That I may be delivered and protected of you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your love. 
thank you, O Lord, for your forgiveness. That I will not perish in sin, I pray this moment, O Lord. But that uh, made clean from all my sins, I will walk before you, our eternal Father. I pray, O Lord, for your protection and sustenance, for your divine protection in every area of my life and spiritual, physical, material, and mental, and even intellectual being that you may be my heritage, O oh Lord, that my adversaries may not harm me, O oh Lord, even as I turn away from wickedness, O oh Lord. Lord, may you be magnified, you are eternal God. You are an awesome defender of your people, you are, uh, we en that we may enjoy a victorious life in you, O oh Lord, that we may not be stagnating in our lives, that we may not be weakened in our sp uh, spiritual and spiritual walk with you, O oh Lord, that, Lord, we may not be regressing even as families, as church, and as believers, even as individuals. Lord, we honor you and we praise you. This we pray and give thanks that in every area of our lives, O oh Lord, you may sustain us in, in your strength, O oh Lord. This I pray and give thanks in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. At this moment, I would want to invite my brother, Simon, that he may come and lead us in a short chorus as we do a thanksgiving prayer. Asante, Asante, Ewe Mungu Alfana Omega Bamba we we ni Alfana Omega we we ni Alfana Omega e we mungu wa si si twa se ma asa si si twa se ma asa Query to a sema a sante ewe mungu wangu. At this particular time, when we want to offer our things to God, because we don't take anything for granted, what God has been so gracious to us. And especially for this time that is surrounding us, we have been sustained by the grace of God. We have been kept by the love of God. And therefore, we have a lesson to thank our God at this particular hour. By lifting him and telling him he is worthy. We shall be thanking God because of our families. We shall be thanking God because of the progress of our nation. And even the way he has continued to use our leaders as far as the issue of the COVID-19 is concerned. We shall be thanking God for healing our diseases. We shall be thanking God even for the unity that he has shown among the churches, among the servants, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 7, 17, that I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will praise his holy name, the Most High. And therefore, have time from wherever you are and prepare yourself to offer thanks to God because of what he has done to you as an individual, as a family, as a nation. We have seen his intervention in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to exalt your name. We give you praise and honor, O oh God. We want to thank you because of your sufficient grace. We want to thank you for your kindness, O oh God. We want to thank you for your divine favor, O oh mighty Redeemer. We want to thank you for your mighty hand which has protected us, O oh God, during this time of COVID-19. Because God, you have always walked together 
together with us, Almighty Redeemer. We want to thank you for the power of healing among the people that have been ailing, oh God. We receive the testimonies, Almighty God, of what you are doing to them. And Lord, we want to thank you because of the unity in our families. We want to thank you for the good coordination in our nation, Almighty Lord. Even King of Glory for the burdens and even Father for the possession of the church at this particular time. We worship you, King of Glory, for using your servant, Almighty Lord. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. We honor you because the Bible says that we may give you thanks for Lord, you are merciful and you are mercy and jewel the forever God. We worship you. We glorify you. For this is our prayer, Jehovah God. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Asante. Amba tuwa sema. Asante. Ewe mungu wangu. In the same mode of prayer, of thanksgiving, we would want to lift up our thanksgiving sacrifices of praise and uh, to our Lord for the things that he has done in every dif very different areas of our lives, especially for establishing us in faith. Lord, we want to thank you because we are rooted in Christ. We thank you, Lord, that we are rooted in Jesus and that our lives are built on him. We thank you that our faith continues to grow strong day, day by day as we are nourished by the word of God. And as we dwell with Christ, we are overflowing with thankfulness. Lord, thank you for your grace that is given, in us, given us in Christ Jesus. For in him we have been enriched in every way. Lord, you have established us with all heavenly favor, O oh Lord, and set us in different families, in different professions, and in different congregations to further your purpose and your will on this earth, O oh Lord. With all kinds of favor have you enriched us. We especially remember the power of speech and the power of music that we use, O oh Lord, to praise you and honor you and to be co-workers with you in this journey of creation and in this journey of, of life on earth. We thank you for the knowledge that we enjoy, the knowledge to communicate with one another and to connect with one another even through the ministry of music and through the ministry of techno for the use of technology. We thank you for your servants that you have given these skills that your word may not suffer and that your message and, your, and the gospel may not suffer and may reach your people in all corners of the world and even in our cities and in all corners of our nation. We thank you, O Lord, for the peace that, of Christ that, we, we, uh, that fills our hearts, O Lord. We thank you, the Lord, that the peace of Christ which rules our hearts and which helps us to enjoy fellowship with one another and fellowship with you. Thank you, O Lord, for this favor. Thank you, O Lord, for being called your children, O Lord. We want to thank you, O Lord, for your work, for the world declares and all creation declares your work and your goodness in our lives. We give you thanks, O Lord, as we call on your name and make known among the people what you have done. We give you glory, O Lord, for in glorifying your holy name and seeking you, you have filled our hearts with joy. Lord, we have enjoyed good health and we have enjoyed, we have enjoyed, good, uh, we have enjoyed peace, O oh Lord. In your strength, Lord, you have led and protected us. You have protected us in our journeys, in our work, in our homes, in our neighborhoods. You have protected us when we, are, we have been ill or even when we have been through difficult and unfamiliar areas, O oh Lord. We have, given, we have seen your wonders, you, your miracles, and your judgments, O oh Lord. Lord, we have not been consumed or finished by illness or accidents or wicked people that scheme daily against us. We thank you. 
We thank you for your judgments against wickedness, O oh Lord, in our generation. We thank you for your correction and your direction. Lord, you have chosen us and given us an inheritance through Christ. Thank you for this gift. Thank you for being called your inheritance, a royal priesthood, and a nation, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord, for lavishing your matchless love upon our lives. We thank you, Lord, because you are also a God of covenant and that you, are, you remember your covenant for thousands of generations. And you are ever, your covenants are everlasting. You have given us land that is blessed, water to drink and food to eat, and beautiful sights to behold in our land, O oh Lord. You give autumn and spring rains in season and assure us of the regular weeks of harvest. Lord, our land has been blessed with good food and with good harvest. Our people are able to feed ourselves. That Lord, even in this period, that movement of commodities across international borders is not easy. Lord, you have fed us from the bounty of harvest within our, bound, our, our territory and within our borders. You have not allowed our enemies to oppress us nor allowed foreigners to rule over us. Lord, you have set rulers and governors in position to rule over your people and the land of Kenya. Thank you for the leaders of our nation. Thank you for the leaders of our churches and our religion and our different faiths and denominations, O oh Lord. We thank you because they know you and they honor you and they have led your people to yourself, O oh Lord. We, lo we love you, O oh Lord. Lord, you have appointed your prophets and priests to prophesy and to minister before you in this land. And, from, uh, and, and your truth has not departed from their lips. To those that you have corrected, O oh Lord, that you have given them and you directed them to your path of, of, of truth. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful love. Lord, you have, you have also restored us to the fortunes of our land from time to time whenever we have faced calamities, from wars to drought, uh, to floods and the locust invasion. You have heard our prayers and healed our land. Thank you, Lord, for listening to us. And Lord, we thank you, and our thanks may not cover every area of our lives, for your goodness cover, covers the entire earth and universe, O oh Lord. But for these benefits, O oh Lord, we lift uh, uh, thanksgiving prayers to you. Lord, we thank you, God of all blessing, source of all life, giver of all grace. We thank you for the gifts of life, for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends, without which there would be no life. We thank you for setting us in communities, for our families that nurture our becoming and shaping our character, and especially for our children, O oh Lord, and even for our teens and the young people. We thank you for, our, for what you are doing in their lives through us and through your, your servants, the priests, and the prophets. We thank you for the friends that love us by choice, for the work we do and the companions that we have at work who share our daily burdens and daily tasks, for the spouses that we have and for our parents that share our joys and sorrows for the children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. Oh Lord, we thank you for those that are nurturing children in their wombs at this moment. For your grace, oh Lord, we thank you. And one more experience of your presence, for your promise to be with us, to be our God and to give us salvation. For all these for these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal, loving God. Through Jesus Christ, we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Now, at this moment, I would want us to reflect on our churches and our congregation and to lift them up to, to our God and even our members and various departments of our churches we want to pray and remember them before our God.
So I would want us to, uh, to pray wherever we are for the church that we may remain true to the gospel and the truth of the word or the scriptures, that the churches would remain deeply committed to seeking God and that the church will boldly share Jesus and only Jesus will it lift. We also want to pray for the church to continue worshiping and adoring our God and also to pray for our leaders uh, and leaders of our congregations and the various departments of our churches. So let us remember this, our God and our Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for the knowledge of the truth that you have given us, O Lord, that there is only one way to the heavenly kingdom, and that is the way of salvation through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We want to remember this moment, O oh Lord, our churches and our different congregations, especially the Anglican Church in the province of Kenya. We also want to remember the head of the Anglican province of Kenya, the Archbishop Jackson Olesapit, and Lord, we that you may remember him, O oh Lord, in this ministry, and may you fill him with your grace, O oh Lord, in this moment that he has to give guidance to the, to the church in this particular nation and also to work with other churches, O oh Lord, in restoring public worship and in keeping the congregation safe. We want to thank you, O oh Lord, for his commitment to your work and to, to, uh, to show and to guide people to your love, O oh Lord. We also remember our bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Nairobi, the Right Reverend Joel Waweru, and his ministry, O oh Lord. We want to thank you for the work that he does and pray, Lord, that you'll continue to sustain him and sustain his staff and his family, O oh Lord, even as the, uh, the churches get back to, uh, on track after the upsets of the coronavirus uh, disruptions. I pray, Lord, that our archdeaconries will continue to support and sustain the work of the diocese and also the work of the parishes, O oh Lord. We want to pray, thank you, O oh Lord, and pray for our vicar and the parish of S.E.K. St. Thomas Aquinas Tena Parish and the leadership of this parish and the different departments, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, that your gospel is the anchor and the cornerstone of our faith, O oh Lord, and your word is our strength, O oh Lord. We pray, Lord, that your message your, uh, will remain true to your message and the message of your word and proclaim it in all seasons, whether it is convenient or not, as is written in 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. We also want to pray, Lord, that the church would remain deeply committed to seeking you in prayers. We want to pray for the fellowships, for the intercessory department, O oh Lord, because they are the foundations of our churches. We want to pray, Lord, for the music and the choir, O oh Lord, that they will continue to minister before you and to honor you and praise you in their songs, O oh Lord. We want also to pray specifically for the departments of communication, especially the ICT department, and the broadcast department, O oh Lord, because it is the only source of connection when the churches are not operating regularly and normally, O oh Lord. We want to remember the pastoral teams that support the vicars and our, past and our priests, O oh Lord, in their pastoral ministry, that, Lord, our people may not feel neglected or abandoned at this time, that we may lead each other to seeking you deeply in prayers, that our prayer lives will not wane or, or, or uh, stop, O oh Lord, because we are not meeting by every day. We thank you for every department, especially for our children that may, uh, are not able to meet for the time being, even to resume their normal services as others come back to church. We also want to pray for our elderly in our churches, O oh Lord, that we have prayers and and comfort and our encouragement will continue to sustain them, even if they don't come back immediately to the churches. 
that Lord will find uh, that your ministers will find a way to reach out to this segment of our congregation, oh Lord. We also want to pray that the church will boldly share the message that Jesus is the only way and the only hope, as is written in Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, that there is no other name given to us under the sun by which anyone can be saved, but only the name of Jesus Christ. That, Lord, we will proclaim this gospel without any fear, O oh Lord, and will proclaim it boldly, that this will be the only message that comes out from your people and from your church. Oh. Lord, we pray that the church will worship and adore you and praise you in spirit and in truth. That, Lord, we will not want to sugarcoat the message of the gospel. That we will speak the truth with boldness, O oh Lord. That your people will share your message and the message of love and the message of forgiveness. Thank you, O oh Lord. We, as we pray also for the church leaders that serve humbly, we pray for your protection. We pray for your encouragement and we pray for your sustenance. Lord, may you cause your people to remember that you are the, uh, the Levitican ministry is about our support for your people and the people that you have set up, uh, on, up, uh, over us in the authority of ministry of the church. That, Lord, we will provide for them, we will support them and we will encourage them. We will visit them wherever it is possible that we will continue to sustain them through our contact messages and, and through phone calls and even uh, prayers, sustained prayers for them and their families because they also suffer illness and, and other uh, calamities like any human being that we will remember them, O oh Lord. We also want to pray at this time for our needs and the needs of those who are suffering as we pray also for help for the needy and for the different challenges that our people and your people are facing. Lord, at this time, we want to remember those who are facing challenging assignments and situations. There are those who are facing the prospect of layoffs. They do not know what they are going to do or how they are going to, uh, uh, to support their families or feed their families. There are those who are facing the imminent closure of their businesses and their homes. Those who are no, not not in a position to pay rent. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you are going to stand out for them. You are going to stand with them and, and help them over this situation. We remember those who are terminally ill among our friends and relatives, O oh Lord, and even the leaders of our communities, O oh Lord, even among our neighbors, there are those who are suffering terminal illnesses. Lord, these are difficult situations for families and even children and spouses, O oh Lord. We pray, Lord, that you are going to strengthen them. We pray, Lord, for a sign from, the Lord, from you that you, they, you will deliver victory to these families and individuals. We remember especially our sister from St. Luke's who suffered a stroke a few weeks ago. We thank you, Lord, that you, have, you saved her life and she did not die in that process of, of collapse. We remember Carol Oguda, O oh Lord, and that, God, you are doing wonderful things in her life. You have different ministers of your churches that are in hospital who are critically ill at this moment. Lord, we pray that you'll extend your sign or your signet, that the signatures, that they will know from, your, uh, from, your, uh, from the sign that you are Lord, you are with them in those difficult situations. And even those families that are not able to feed their children, Lord, you are going to send out your sign to them. Like, as is written in the book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 36 to 37. You showed your servant Gideon that sign that he, you are going to deliver victory and that he, will go, he was going to be the deliverer of your people Israel. By his, you will deliver the people Israel by his hands. We also want to remember also our friends and our, our people who are enduring shame or rejection and hopelessness at this time. Some because of their health status, some because they are not able to, to uh, bear children, and some because they are not able to get uh, married, oh Lord. And we remember the prayer of Hannah in First Samuel 1 and verse 11, that each one of these people will trust in you, oh Lord, for your help, and that you are going to turn their shame into joy 
O oh Lord, and rejoicing and thanksgiving. We also want to remember at this time uh, those who are seeking your wisdom and guidance like Solomon asked, O oh Lord, because he was just but a young man that needed your guidance or the divine guidance for him to rule over the people. We seek your divine guidance for our leaders of this nation, O oh Lord, and leaders of our different segments of, of government. Thank you, O oh Lord, for your wonderful love. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the wisdom that you are bestowing on your people. Lord, we also want to remember those who are seeking your mercy and this and restoration, that you may restore the communities and the people that you have judged, O oh Lord, because of iniquities and for going against your word or going against your commands, O oh Lord. Like Daniel's prayer in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 16 to 19, that, Lord, you may restore Jerusalem, that, Lord, you may restore your remnant and your people back to Jerusalem and restore their city. Lord, we pray for the restoration of this land. The, the segments of the economy that have been devastated, we are praying for your restoration. So those who have gone out of your churches and gone astray and gone out of your ways, Lord, that you will restore them mercifully. And those who are in distress, like Jonah, who had seen death overwhelm and cover him from the belly of the fish he called out to you as we read in Jonah chapter 2 verse 2 to 9 Lord that you may find these people and lift them out of, the, of that darkness oh Lord may you bring us back to light in the areas of our lives that are in darkness Lord we pray for you are lift, lifting up oh Lord that you may bring us to your light we also pray for spiritual strength, like Paul asked for the church in Ephesus, O oh Lord, that we may walk in spiritual strength in every way of our life. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful love. We also want to pray at this time that we may walk in fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ and follow his example, O oh Lord, in every aspect of our lives, that we, for our families and our children, in education, O oh Lord, in our businesses that will walk in faith, O oh Lord, that we may not waver in our walk of faith. This we pray and give thanks in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this moment, I want us to wind up by singing this hymn, number 101, from Praises to the Most High, hymn number one, as we do our, as we approach the closing prayer, hymn number 101. Praises to the Most High. And it go we have come before our God again to pray and to seek his face just as we are in, in our situations, in our different situations. So let us sing that hymn prayerfully wherever you are. Just as I am without one plea, but thy, thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. I come. Just as I am. Stars I am the toast above. We may a conflict may a death. Fightings and fears with thee, with
to you just as we are. We have come to you, we have confessed our sins before you, we have sought your face, O oh Lord, and Lord, we have set, offered sacrifices of praise before you, O oh Lord, this evening. We want to pray, O oh Lord, that you may continue to sustain us in your love as we continue to offer prayers unto you without ceasing. Now, through the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, through our belief in Jesus, our Lord and Savior, inspire our hearts, Lord, to seek you in your word daily. Grow us both individually and together as we seek the peace of your presence. Help us to walk faithfully and fiercely after Christ, reflecting his love. May we always lift our progress up to you who holds the honor and glory for who we are and what we do. Use our lives, Lord, to reach those who desperately need to know you, to know your love for them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. We have come to the end of our intercessory prayers for today, the 9th of July. 2020. May God bless you and continue to sustain you wherever you are, even as you love and serve the God, the Lord our God. Shalom and God bless you.